Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Surprise Thursday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the deluxe Croc Master and Fiona from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it! Let's kick things off with a look at the packaging. And on the top, Cobra Symbol, number 38. And a little bit of a window there, just let the light in from the top. On the front, four and up. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole, unless it's the Crocs pie hole. And anyway, there's a nice big window showcasing Fiona and her little babies and the Croc Master and his accessories. And there's a picture, artwork there, featuring both of them that kind of goes around the side there. So, that is nice. G.I. Joe Classified Series, Croc Master and Fiona Hasbro print. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese, print made in China, print symbols I'm not going to learn, and a barcode. And on this side, his file card. Croc Master and Fiona, number 38, G.I. Joe. And there's that if you want to go to the website and look that up, you can. And on the back, that nice new classified series artwork. Attention! Don't stick things in your French pie hole! And the artwork centers up on Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, and whoever that is. Who could it be? It's a ninja. And then, you know... Some of this is reused from the other artwork, I think. But I'm not going to swear to it. And then we have parentsgijoe.com. Achtung! Don't stick things in your pie hole of other languages that don't belong there. Includes two figures and seven accessories. And some other small print and some Hasbro print. And that, my friends... Completes our look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and accessories. And let's start off with Fiona's accessories. And she comes with two little baby Crocs. One, all white. I won't say he's an albino, even though he's white. He does have, not have pink eyes. So. Nice little looking... Baby Croc. And then here's the other one. And he is a little different than uh, the other one. And again, nice little paint apps on it. And here is Fiona's leash, I guess you could call it. Um, not my favorite accessory and uh, I'll put it on her a little later and show you how it fits on her and I don't I, I just don't like the way that it fits that's just me though I don't know and this plastic chain eh, I may end up replacing it provided I can find a suitable replacement for it But nice little paint apps on the sides there. And then next up we have Croc Master's meat hook. And I'm assuming he puts chickens or G.I. Joe heads or whatever 
on here to feed his crocs with. And here we have his sidearm, which kinda looks like a tactical 357 to me. But I am no gun expert, so. But it is a revolver. And you notice on the hilt there, it does have kind of like a croc skin motif or pattern at least. And it does have a spot in the barrel for blast effects when we do finally get some G.I. Joe blast effects. But nice looking mold and in black plastic. Here's the other accessory I'm not super thrilled with. I just. I don't know, the shape of this just, I don't like it. It's not very, I'm fixing to whip you posed, and it's not bendy or anything. It's made of soft plastic, but it takes right back. I don't know, maybe you can fix this with some heat, but I'm thinking clip it off and put some black wire in there and then you can pose it however you like but it's molded in black plastic and then it's got this paint app right here and you know I mean the handle has some nice little details in it and again it's uh, like crocodile skin motif or pattern on the handle and then here is the tank for his and hose for his rebreather the hose does not come out of the tank but the hose does come out of his mask and we'll put that back on him in a few now let's take a look at oh well there's one accessory and I missed it he also comes with a knife in that same crocodile pattern on the handle here it's a nice looking knife I don't I think we've seen this one before, especially with that handle pattern. A nice silver paint. No, actually I think it's molded silver. And this is the paint. But I could be mistaken. It could be molded in this and the silver is the paint. I'm not sure. Alright. Now let's take a look at the figures. Here is Fiona. And she does have quite a bit of articulation in her. Um... You know, I'm thinking she's, uh, I'm thinking she is molded in this color and then this is the paint on the top because it's lighter and then darker across the top. But I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Now as far as her art articulation goes, the mouth does open and opens up that wide. That's pretty good. And let's move Croc Master out of the way. So the camera has something to focus on besides him. Nice paint on the eyes. Nice paint on the teeth and lots and lots of teeth there. So that's good. Then at the neck is on a ball joint here and it's rotate like that. And it'll turn this way and that. It'll actually do the full exorcist. And this piece is like soft a soft rubber piece and so is this piece right here and the belly this piece in the belly you can see where the where it's put together on there this piece is a soft rubber piece too and then there's another joint right here which gets us some more rotation action another 360 degrees then on the arms, they'll rotate 360 degrees, and they are on a hinge, so they can raise up that far, and then there's another hinge at the foot, so it goes up and down, and it will also do a full 360 degree rotation, it's the same on the other side uh, for the back leg, full rotation. And it's on a dumbbell joint, it looks like. But it's got no butterfly or anything like that. And then it does have that ankle up and down. And it does have 
rocker also. This one doesn't have rocker, it just rotates. Now, let's get to the tail. The tail is attached here. I think it's on a dumbbell. Yeah, it's on a dumbbell joint. So, you know, you get a little bit of rotation around and it comes off just like that. So you can see there is the dumbbell joint right there. So it will move around a little bit, but it's also bendy. So you can pose it some. The wire ends about right there, it feels like. But you can, so you can pose the tail some with that bendy. So, overall, very nice, nice looking crocodile figure. Nice looking? What do you mean, nice looking? She's a beaut. Thank you, Steve. Now, let's take a look at Croc Master. And he looks like I remember him from A Real American Hero. Uh, a few more details, I think, though. You can look right here where his mask looks like it's been sewn back together. On the other side, the ear's kind of sticking out. It's got this rebreather on, and it's part of the mold. It doesn't come off. And, of course, he does have his little backpack hole here. And his Cobra insignia and, like, a crocodile vest going on there. It looks like a crocodile eye right there. And some nice paint apps there his holster for his sidearm and a little more crocodile pattern there for, on his boots so crocodile boots he's got a crocodile vest crocodile skin crotch piece and crocodile skin boots nice silver here and i'm assuming this is like the back of the crocodile that's what that's supposed to be and it's a a separate piece it rotates freely there not too freely but you know if you make it move it'll move let's take a look at his articulation he can look up that far he can look down that far it looks like the heads on the dumbbell with the neck being a separate part with a ball at the bottom uh, he doesn't really chicken neck he's got some waggle in there he will do the full exorcist. At the shoulder, he does have a butterfly hinge. And it'll go back that far, and it'll go up that far. So not a whole lot of range there, but it's there. We'll do a full 360 degree rotation. Raises up that far at the shoulder, which is a little bit better than 90. Cut at the upper bicep for a full 360 degree rotation double hinged pinned elbow almost said knee and it gives you that much bend 360 degree rotation at the wrist on an in and out hinge and the other hand has in and out hinge as well uh, there's an ab crunch hinge here bends back that far crunches forward that far and that's all that does at the waist I think he's on either a dumbbell or a ball joint there and that gives him a little bit of hula action there he can bend forward just a little bit on it he can bend backwards just a little bit on it and it does give him a full 360 degree rotation now at the hips it's on that GI Joe drop down hinge Although it doesn't seem to be dropping down a whole lot. So he will give you the full splits. Kicks forward that far. Kicks backwards that far. Double hinged pinned knee. Gives you that much bend. So pretty darn good. There is a cut here at the upper shin for boot cut. And, at the ankles, tilts down that far, tilts up that far, and forward-facing pin for rocker. Now, as far as his accessories go, his pistol will go right in his holster. 
and it stays there. It's secure. His knife will go in the sheath here on his leg. And it stays in there securely as well. And as far as this piece goes, it just it has a plug on it right here for this port in his back. And it just plugs in there and then there's a hole in the side of the mask that the hose just ports into. And as far as his other stuff, he just has to hold it in his hands. And so we won't do all that. Um, now I did say we'd show about the leash here and it just kind of slides on and that's as far as I can get it on there and maybe that's where it's supposed to be I don't know but it does hinder the opening of the jaws a bit and then of course as far as her accessories go they can be hanging out with her or sitting in her mouth like baby crocs I think do I know alligators do that I assume crocodiles do as well. But that, my friends, is a look at the figure, figures, and accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And let's start things off with a really old action figure I've had hanging around in my stuff for a long, long time. Here he is. Mr. Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter, with Croc Master. Oi, I'm the Croc Master. Shut up, fool. Oi. And now, because they also came with animals from G.I. Joe Classified Series, here is Commando Snake Eyes and Timber. Just so you can see kind of how the animals square up with each other. Which I think that's pretty good. And here is Spirit Iron Knife. And his Eagle Freedom. And our last G.I. Joe comparison, here we have the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander. How do they scale up with other lines? Let's take a look from Marvel Legends series making his cameo appearance. Here we have Stan the Man Lee. From Star Wars The Black Series, we have the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper. And for a 7-inch comparison from McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line, here we have Three Jokers, The Joker, The Clown. And that, my friends, completes our look at comparisons. For final thoughts on the G.I. Joe Classified series, I'm going to guess he's a deluxe release, Croc Master and Fiona. I have to say, this is a pretty nice set. You know, I always used to kind of make fun of Croc Master um, back in the Real American Hero days. Uh, you know, I was a kid. And, uh, he wasn't my figure. He was my brother's figure. And, you know, I would make fun of him because, you know, oh, his powers, he just trains crocodiles. That's dumb. But uh, I have to say, this this version of him looks pretty badass um, even though it really doesn't stray that far from a real American heroes version of the character uh, I think what really sets this one off is Fiona and I really wish that her collar piece was better I just I don't I don't like it so 
I don't know. If I can find some silver chain, I have some black chain, but I don't think that would go well with, with the rest of it. So if I can find some silver chain, I may attempt to do a fix on it. And we'll see. Um, and the whip too. I just, I, I really do not like this whip at all. Well, that, my friends, is my opinion. Your mileage, of course, may vary. And that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count. And I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just help the channel out further, or both. That's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time. Crikey! She's a beaut!